Alright everybody, welcome to a Boss Pal Real Chance Wow video giving you the macros, keybinds, and simplistic rotation of your spent powered seals talent if you are going to be using it in Warlords of Draenor as your level 100 talent. I do recommend it. It is an excellent ability and you should all try it. So let's get started. Let me put my face cam in here so you guys can see my eyes, part of the video. But anyways guys, thank you for watching, tuning in, first of all. Second of all, if you are using Empowered Seals, I'm here to show you the best way to use Empowered Seals to maximize your consistent damage. So you're not just some wings in an arena match. You want to be uh, consistently dealing that damage. You don't want to just be a pair of wings or quad of wings that people look at and be, hey, uh, he popped his wings, all right, let's just CC him, and then they CC you, and then wings are over in 18 seconds, and you're just useless to your team. You don't want to be that, I mean, other than obviously your versatility and sac, your hands of sacrifice, your hand of prot, and your hand of freedom. So, I'm going to also put on, should I put on some music? Hold on, guys, let me put on some music for you. All right, so... Again, back to what I was saying, uh, you want to be consistent damage, you don't want to be just a pair of wings. So let me show you the macros that I use to start. I want to really make sure that you have the best macro, in my opinion, the simplest and best macro that will help you get your judgment off and get your seal active. So here it is, simple, all of them are like this, all of them have the seal as the first, obviously, the first spell that I cast in the macro and then judgment. So you'll see that this keybind down here is alt uh, mouse wheel up. And I use my mouse wheel down and mouse wheel up regularly. So that is why I have alt mouse wheel up. You guys can change it for yourselves obviously. I want to make it simple for you. Sorry. <laughs> so you can see that I have this cast seal. But normally you sometimes you used to see paladins put an exclamation point there. And that just makes it so that way you can cast them over and over and over again. Which you didn't really need but it used to uh, uncast the seal if you would press it again so this helps you keep it active but see once you cast it you can't cast it again you just cast the next ability instead of giving that constant cast so you see I have my alt wheel up and then I cast my judgment so that way I get my buff active which is 15% attack power for those of you who don't know what the power of seals are is uh, it gives you 15% attack power your judgment of seal of truth and then judgment of righteousness gives your haste 15% and that is what makes it so good uh, you get your haste and your strength uh, attack power active. You can just keep going at them. You get that quick buff for 15 seconds. You just keep it active as best as you can. And this is the best way I think to do it. You want to be sure to have Seal of Truth active most of uh, most of the time, other than when you're trying to get that haste buff. If unless you need to survive or run away, obviously Justice is good for that, and Insight is good for healing. So you're gonna want to use those as your macros. The cast the seal, and I will have them in the description below for those of you who are looking to copy and paste. Uh, I will leave them there for you. And the keybinds I find are simple for me, being that I've always had judgment as my wheel down, so I'm kind of used to it. Um, the alt wheel and shift button here uh, help me make sure that I can keep that ability in reach, especially if it's just press alt and wheel up or wheel down. So I have the sh alt wheel up for seal of truth, sorry, alt wheel up for seal of truth and alt wheel up again to simply cast the judgment. Alt wheel down for seal of righteousness, and then after judgment school down, alt wheel down again to cast uh, the seal of right righteousness. Which you don't even need to hold down the alt button if you're just going to wheel down. If you use the keybind for uh, judgment, uh, wheel down already or wheel up, whatever you like. Then I have shift wheel up for for justice, and then I have shift wheel down for insight. And again, these are just within reach, and it makes it easy for me to use. So if you guys are looking to do that and have that simplicity aspect of it, even though it takes a little bit to get used to and to learn, especially the seal, Empowered Seals itself, the whole ability requires a lot of button pressing. So you kind of got to get used to it at first. And once you are used to it, though, it's a very useful tool, I think. Obviously, both other the other two level 100 talents are very useful as well. But I'm going to go over that in a completely other video. And a complete other video, so completely other video, complete other video. And I'm also going to go over all of my keybinds and all of my macros in another video. I'll show you a quick sneak peek. This is my burst macro. I will leave this down in the description below so you guys can check this out. I obviously activate my uh, trinket, but I have cast seal of truth in here. You see that right there because that gives me, say, I have placed my seal of righteousness judgment on the enemy. I'm like, okay, let's do this. Just, all right, wait two seconds and boom, cast my. Uh, 
my burst and I get my seal of righteousness right there all over again. So I it makes it easy for me to make sure I'm oh, sorry <laughs> in seal of truth. You can obviously accidentally press your other abilities, so that way I'm in the damage dealing seal to continuously provide the sensor so they get that dot as I'm bursting on them and trust me it is a good macro and so are the seal macros again I will leave them in the description below be sure to try them out the alt wheel keybinds and such the shift wheel keybinds and the wheel uh, mouse wheel keybinds in general it helps immensely it gives you more tools to use for more abilities and it's just something I recommend in my opinion the best way to macro your paladin and the best way to key bind your paladin so try it out guys let me know what you think also leave a comment down below if you like empowered seals or what your thoughts are on other level 100 talents i will also be coming out with more videos during the week showing damage rotation key binds macros uh, talents glyphs all that stuff so let me know if you want to see that if you do be sure to subscribe to the channel if you liked this video subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you didn't like this video and think i'm wrong give it a thumbs down and tell me why in the comments below but Thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more face cam, let me know as well. I'm going to be making a lot of videos. It's Christmas week. I know I was kind of slacking on it, but that's just because it's Christmas week. It's time to be on Swole Patrol and make sure we're not losing our gains. <sighs> so we're going to get WoW gains instead. Thank you guys for watching. Chance Burger, Real Chance WoW. Boss Pal, Boss Pan, whatever you want to call me. Love you, bye. You do a giveaway. Chance!